video I'm kind of undecided on whether or not I want to do like a wavy bob or like a very like sleek and straight one so this is just going to be an update on my summer hair if you guys missed that video I actually did like a full like start to finish um, how to make a quick weave wig and then I also did uh, a second part video which was just me cutting it into a bob very kind of blunt cut one two three like and you're done so anyway um this is just an update to that video i'm going to show you kind of how i'm going to style it i have not ever worn this wig like completely straight so this will also be kind of like a test to see if i actually cut it <laughs> good or not because i never actually straightened it out so we'll see i'm kind of undecided it's like do i want to do straight do i want to do wavy i guess we'll find out and sorry guys i got these little stupid bangles on like yeah but anyway let's get right into the video all right y'all so here is the wig this is what it's looking like as you can see i mean just looking at the wig it looks like it's cut like perfect like y'all see that this looks like yeah anyway so of course it was a quick weave wig and all that i did was literally uh, make this on a dome cap and as you can see like i used uh the saran wrap just to kind of protect my own hair and literally pulled this off so this is exactly what the wig looks like on the inside nothing too too crazy to be honest no different than if i would have sewn it um i did wash the hair however um and so in case you guys are wondering you can wash your quick weaves and you can wash your quick weave wigs as well um you just want to make sure you do that in like cold water that's it as cold as you can stand it you'll be fine the goal is just to not have the glue um slip or anything like that so if you don't mind like you'll be fine um and then yeah this is what the part looks like so I did bleach the knots it looks really good I mean in my opinion as you can see I don't have any combs or clips I'm not gonna put any on it because it's literally like a dome at this point um so yeah I'm just I guess put this crap on y'all my braids are looking like oh rough like sad I'm pretty much at the point where um, I only do about four big braids in my head and I do these while I'm like in the shower so it's literally like conditioner still in it it's yeah just kind of interesting so I'm not even gonna put them up actually I should so I'll just do like a crisscross type of thing all right as good as it's gonna get and then I'll just slide on the wig okay line this up with my part as see y'all see how tight that is like yeah wear it I really feel like I look like um the guy off Shrek like I feel like I should have cut this a little bit lower or either it's too flat up here I'm not exactly sure but it's definitely throwing me off <laughs> what is his name Flora Farquhar <laughs> done I look like Lord Farquaad and it doesn't make it any better pulling this forward like no so of course I need to do my little swoop more than likely I need to make this wavy to give me some volume up here because otherwise yeah we're on the Farquaad panel right now like I don't know if I straighten it out I just kind of feel weird about it I'm gonna do like one side and then we'll see how I feel about the other side but um yeah I mean as you can see this is laying like really really flat so that's good um I did cut off I think I cut off like some little baby hairs here to be able to kind of swoop this so let me see if I can find them alright there we go so I don't know hmm I mean it's really really blunt I'm thinking it needs to be wavy so I'm just taking my one inch um this is a baby bliss flat iron so this is uh yeah I mean it gets really really hot typically I only use this to straighten hair and not to curl because of how hot the plates get so I just turned it down a little bit just to kind of see how I feel about it Okay, so I'm going to do straight on this side and with, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just going to go through it. It looks fine so far.
so I have my Kenra uh, flat iron spray and I'm gonna just use this it tends to like sleek out the hair a lot easier so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this now it's called the Kenra thermal spray uh, number 19 they have a bunch of different like levels to it so yep and it comes out wet of course but it literally dries in seconds so you can literally go right in after using it Y'all know I'm filming in like natural daylight, so if the lighting kind of changed, don't think it's weird. It's literally just the sun going up and down, but so far this looks really, really good. Like the cut on this, y'all, and I promise you, I literally put the hair in one ponytail, cut straight across, and let it go. So apparently, that's the best way to get a bob. So bye, Lord Farquaad. We're good. <laughs> So I'm just going to go through the hair. I'm actually going to go ahead and do both sides like this um, just to really kind of round this out. And we have a look, y'all. This is full. This is pretty. Yeah, we're here. So just in case you guys are wondering also, as I'm going through the hair, I'm not using the flat iron spray everywhere. I'm literally only using it to cover the top portion. So right around here, just to kind of really sleek it out and give it that final finish because I do still want it to have body. And that flat iron spray gets it extremely straight, which is a good thing. But I do want the body at the end, so here we go. So just kind of finish this off as you guys know my favorite product which is cream of nature pretty much their entire line of products but I'm going to use their foaming mousse as you guys know this just provides a little bit of shine and sheen to the hair without like weighing it down and then of course having it revert back to being like a body wave so I'm just going to literally do like a half of pump a squirt or whatever this is what that looks like and yeah I'm literally just going to go over the tops of the hair not literally to penetrate too too much but just along this area where I usually have like flyaways and closures summer hair did a really really good job of making sure that we did not have a lot of flyaways in this so that means you're getting a full closure not little filler so as you guys can see just pro provides a little bit more shine I'm not gonna take that um I usually use like a shine spray from cream of nature I'm not gonna use that today I'm literally just gonna let the hair kind of shine and do its own thing the luster looks really really good as you guys can see I went from like a far quad to a <laughs> how you doing no I'm so far quad <laughs> But anyway, you guys can see that this bob is like extremely full. If I'm not mistaken, I just used the closure and I think about two and a half bundles. But I'll double check uh, the very first video so I'll make sure I give you the right information. But um, yeah, like I said, I did one big chop. I literally put the hair in a ponytail, cut it, went out the door. Here we go. Now, on this side, I think I went a little bit too short right here. So you can kind of see where it's like this situation happening. But because the bob is still even length, I'm not going to go crazy about the fact that this very tip doesn't match with the other tip. It's fine. Like, no big deal. You guys, I don't know if anybody would have noticed. But, of course, if you're stylist, more than likely you would have called me out. So, whatever. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. This is kind of like a quick hit just to kind of get this out of the way. And, yeah, I like it. As you guys know, bobs are my, like, go-to style. And because this is a quick weave, I feel like I'll have it forever. So, yeah, definitely love this. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you